Hey guys, so here's my review of Batman and Robin number three. Now, in Batman and Robin number three, we um, open up with um, Damien and Alfred playing chess. Now, as, uh, as Damien and Alfred are playing chess, we find out that, you know, Bruce is updating the, the, the security system around Wayne Manor. So he's updating the perimeter around um, Wayne Manor um, because he's trying to protect Damien. Um, of course, he doesn't want to lose Damien. Of course, now we realize that, you know, Bruce is scared that he will lose his son. And that's something he has to protect now. Um, you know, before, you know, like, also he had to protect, you know, Dick and everybody else. But, of course, Damien is his son, his, you know, blood son. So he has to really, really be tight on security with him. And because we found out that Morgan, the villain of this, um, you know, story, knows where they live and stuff like that, knows everything about them. And, um, after that, you know, Bruce is going out for a patrol, and we figured out that, um, Damien hasn't been going on patrol with, with him for a while now. That's been three nights that, you know, they haven't been going on patrol together, that only Bruce has been out in Gotham, you know, by himself, and not with Damien. And Damien's been stuck in the manor. Now, Damien's getting fed up with being stuck in the manor, and, of course, he goes off and runs off, you know, fighting crime alone by himself. And of course, Bruce doesn't want him to go off because he's afraid that Morgan is able to, you know, get to him, able to, you know, kill him or do something to Damien. So, um, you know, he goes, so Damien goes out and goes, fights crime. He fights a bunch of thugs. And um, we also find out that Alfred placed a communicator, not communicator, but a, um, what is it, a, a tracking device on Damien. And, you know, he's fighting crime, he fights these thugs, and he beats them up, and he beats them up till they are actually brain dead. And then Morgan comes along and um, starts talking to Damien and tells him that he's been holding back, that that's not his true nature of holding back, that he is a killer. Not a killer, but he knows that, you know, Damien knows to himself that these people, these villains or these thugs don't belong in the streets, that they should be taken out, they should be killed. And, you know, when Damien holds back, that's not what he's supposed to do. And that's what Morgan's telling Damien. And, of course, Damien finds out that that's the reason why he's been being held in the mansion is because of Morgan. And Morgan sort of, you know, paralyzes Damien and he falls to the ground. And then Batman shows up and, you know, starts having a fight with Morgan. And as they're having their fight, um, Morgan pulls out an ultrasonic um, equipment thing in his hand which looks like Iron Man's uh, sort of, you know, beam kind of circle on his arm. So those are his ultra uh, supersonic, you know, wave things. And, you know, it, you know, it makes Batman paralyzed. And um, Morgan captures Bruce and Damien. And that's where we end off. Um, them waking up in a car. And, you know, they're about to watch a film. So Batman and Robin... Um, I have to say, this is going to be a pretty good series so far. This issue is great. Still working up on, you know, Damien's uh, frustration with Bruce. And still working up with Bruce's uh, fear of having Damien either be killed or being turned against him. Which is really, really awesome. And I really, really like how they're going with this. Because I want to figure out how are they going to be able to fix this rift between father and son. Or how are they going to be able to be father and son without having this um, big tension between those two. And, you know, hopefully we get to see Bruce become a better father. Become closer to Damien. And hopefully Damien becomes a bit more understanding. Even though he's already holding back, you know... Still, Bruce needs to work better as being a father. Now, I highly recommend you guys picking up this issue. It's really great. I really liked it. I know you guys will like it because, of course, I liked it. And the story so far is really going good. Art is great. Um, the character development between Damien and Bruce is super awesome. Super great. I'm, I'm just, you know, at all right now. And I just hope, you know, I just want to see what the outcome is between their relationship so far. So pick up Batman and Robin issue number three when you can.